You would have known that Alex Dowsett, the true legend himself, won stage eight of the Giro d'Italia. And because he is a legend, he uploads all his power data and all the rest of it. So we can actually have a decent look at how his ride was. So obviously, first of all, we'll, we'll go have a look on training peaks and uh, figure out his FTP. So his normalized power is 318, his intensity factor um, was 0.77. So quite an easy calculation, 318 divided by 0.77 should give us the watts per kilo, uh, which is, so means is, uh, sorry, is FTP, which is 413 watts. So straight away, we, we go on to, go on to my little Strava source, change to 413 watts, and it will just reload the page um, so that we can have a proper analysis and see exactly what sort of numbers Dowsett was doing relative to his FTP. Obviously, you know, he may not have changed it recently, um, but as that loads, we can just see the general outcome of the race. So 316 normalized power for five hours is, is very solid. Um, obviously, here's a heavy rider who's close to 80 kilos. Um, but even so, you know, even at that weight is um, pretty, pretty impressive. Um, we're talking well over four speaking over five hours normalized, which is pretty solid. Big KJ day as well. Um, almost 5,000 kilojoules, which is a, a very significant day. So I can't get my words out. Um, but we'll go into the file. So obviously he was in the breakaway, um, and it's actually it's quite amazing actually this this uh, heart rate data. You can see when he's on the front and when he's off just by the oscillating of the heart rate data, um, and you can see also that it trends down as well. So obviously he had to work quite hard at the beginning to get in the break. Um, you know, some of his best power of the day uh, probably came uh, at the beginning of the break here. Um, obviously, I should say it didn't. But a lot of his power, I reckon, would have definitely come. Like if we look at the first um, part here, it was like 370 normalized for 20 for 20 minutes. Um, and then I assume he got in the break here as his heart rate starts to spike and he's doing sort of 350. So anyway, this first part of the break obviously is like to try and get the, the lead out. So it's 340 normalized. But then once they set get into the rhythm of the break, they're swapping turns here. So you can see the lovely oscillation of the heart rate up and down, average 124. Um, normalizer is only 260 like if you're a decent amateur 260 normalizer is like what you do in a crit for like a 3-4 crit in the UK let's say um, so you know 260 normalizer is, is especially for these lot real easy um, they're just you know doing tempo um, his max power is quite high which is weird but generally this is you know just settling in they knew the break was going to get get given a fair amount of time it's just on this climb would would they bring it back um, Dows is not always the strongest climber uh, and here you can see that the level is very low uh, four watts per kilo for 27 minutes is, is really, really easy climbing. Um, I think potentially this seems a little bit too low. I think it could weigh less because I, I can't believe that they climbed at 4.3 watts per kilo because that is like really not that hard. But anyway, that's what the data says. Um, and then on the descent, again, I, they didn't really push it. Um, it was only a you know, negative 4%, so nothing nothing crazy. I guess let's see how steep this climb was actually because that could explain it. Um, it was like 6%, so you, you get a decent draft of that, like in the wheel, but it's nothing crazy. So I expected it would have been a bit higher. Um, and then towards here, the pace, again, was only forwards per kilo on a lot of these climbs. This little pinch here, again, 4.4. So you can see it, it wasn't a super hard day that the break, you know, um, they let them go. Um, but then we came up to these these little climbs here. And this is actually where Dowsett got dropped. Um, you can see here that it's it, the final is actually a lap, um, a lap of this, of Vieste, of Vieste. Um, and actually Dowsett got dropped and Branley got dropped on this climb, but they didn't give up. They didn't sack it in. They just, you know, kept riding. So obviously this includes the bottom part of the climb. It's 4% average. But if we look at the actual steep part, he's doing six watts per kilo for two, two minutes 45, which obviously is going to get dropped by the, the, um, lighter riders like Matthew Holmes, for instance, is probably whacking six and a half up there, six, seven watts per kilo. Cause they did put a lot of time into, into Dowsett up this climb. Um, but he's you know, still going 20k an hour for 10% gradient, so it's nothing to be sniffed at. But then Dowsett Chase is pretty hard to get. Yeah, this is the, the last two laps, so it was, it was really hard on the climb. And then you can see here, this is where where he actually attacked. So it was, um, if you can remember this part exactly, um, it was actually when they, they came out the, ra the roundabout here, and it was just before the run-in. And Dowsett just put in a little, so he let the, the wheel go. He had to put a dig in to catch back up to them. Then he did one little dig here, which was at like 979 watts, and that was it. That was it, cheerio. Last 25 minutes, he was then on his own um, and did 362 normalized um, for 25 minutes, which is, you know, where the, the men from the boys come out. I mean, it's like, okay, what's Piquito wise? It, it, it's not super crazy impressive, but like just in terms of 360 normalized, Das is very aero, et cetera, et cetera. But it also shows how important having a teammate is because without the teammate, they would have definitely chased behind. 
But I'm, I'm going to show you Matlet's Branley's power, um, and you'll be able to see that actually uh, it was pretty pretty hard behind as well. Um, but Dowser obviously had the pick. Um, so the next time when he went up the, the climb, actually, um, which is, um, we'll, we'll just try and get up here. It's a, it's a little bit hard to do. Um, but yeah, up the climb, obviously, he could ride his own tempo, which was which was pretty useful for the, for the young man. We're not really young anymore. Um, but it meant, you know, instead of riding at six watts per kilo, he could just ride at 5.2 up there. Pretty easy. Um, you know, around threshold for 400 on the climb. Um, obviously, he's well into the race. And then towards the end of it, he could just ride at like 345 watts. 51k an hour on the negative 6%. Um, he's pretty good bike handler. Dowsett took the corner as well. And that's it. Dowsett won. And it's just the belief of getting dropped. Um, you know, obviously, this happened after like that 370 watts happened after 4,100 kilojoules, which is which is very impressive because let's be honest, how many people are whacking 360 watts for 25 minutes just like at his weight, let's say, um, anytime, like not not many. Uh, but after 4,100 kilojoules, that's the key thing. But it's, it's not stratospheric for sure. Um, it definitely isn't. But we can have a look at Matthias Brande's power data. Um, so just to see if it confirms, and you can see Brandy did actually did quite a lot more power than Dowsett here. Um, he did 306 watts normalized, while Dowsett did less. I don't know if Brandy weighs more. He could do. But on the climb, again, it agrees about 4.5 watts per kilo. Dowsett always seems to have lower power. I think he's a very efficient rider. He doesn't waste many watts. So that might seem like, oh, he's not as strong. But I, I think it's not. I think it's just the way power meters read is, is, is quite weird. Um, but you can also see Matthias Brandy had the same issue here. He also got dropped on the climb. Um, he did 521 watts, so did 6.7 watts per kilo, but still dropped um, on the climb, uh, which is obviously, you know, not ideal. But then he did manage to get back on. But again, here, see here, Dowsett did two, like, you know, a little bit less watts per kilo, um, more like 6.2, I think it was. Um, but he always seems to just climb quite well. He seems to be very efficient and all the rest of it. Um, but if we actually look when Dowsett went, so Dowsett went from about this point here. And if you look at them sitting on, it's not easy. It was like 356 normalized sitting on. Like, obviously, he was, you know, playing, but they really weren't messing around that much. Like, this is my point, is that it's not like Dowsett just soft tap round. Like, obviously, this is like 330 watts, but Dowsett didn't soft tap round. Like, I just think Dowsett's power data is just really, like, low because he's such a smooth rider. I don't really understand it because if you look here, like, okay, their, their chase wasn't great. Like, for the last half an hour of the race, they averaged 41 kilometers an hour. And um, for Dowsett, it was like, 44. But if you look at the normalizers, it's like 355 versus what? 3 360? Okay, obviously I think I assume Brandy weighs weighs slightly slightly more. Um we'll, we'll get to see here. I'll get him the same weight, 78 kilos. I mean that's what they both say. Maybe he does weigh more in real life, but it, it's like it's it wasn't easy at the back. Right? It's sort of weird why they didn't catch them in some ways. Um and up the final climb, Brandy did get did get spat in the end, I think. Um he was, could only do like 4.7 up that climb. Um Oh, no, that's, sorry, that's not the whole climb, is it? Um, I don't even know what I've highlighted it. Um, yeah, so, like, up the, up the final climb, he was doing, like, 6.1 once per kilo, got spat. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it's quite interesting on this power data because it's, it's not what you first think. It, it's not like, oh, Dalsit just soloed off and they, they noodled behind. They, they really didn't noodle behind. They did, like, 360 normalized, and, you know, that's that's pretty hard, like, what Brandy was doing. Obviously, he was, like, messing up the chase and et cetera, et cetera. But, like, they weren't really messing around that much. It's just Dowser's really efficient rider. Got away, just stuck his head down and just rode, like, consistently 355 normalized. Like, the difference, 330, 355, like, the variability index is, is really lower, which is the difference between normalized and average power. While, um, obviously, with Brand Lady, the variability index um, is, is a lot higher. You know, the, the average was only 307. The normalized was 360 because there's so many surges, like, here... You can see it's crazy surges. Um, but again, it doesn't so it show it's easier, but Dowsett just made the right move. Um, he's lucky he had a teammate behind to um, distract, and he just went for it, and he, and he won the stage. So super congrats to old Dowsett. I'm really happy for him. He always seems like a really good lad. Um, he's had, you know, quite a tough time recently in terms of just like results and everything. He's obviously got a child on the way. He doesn't have a contract, so hopefully that can all get sorted out because he seems like a good lad. I enjoy his YouTube channel a lot. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and um, enjoyed the sort of interesting parts of the power data and just see that it's, it's you know, you can have less watts sometimes and still go faster. It's all about, you know, how you use them. And Dalsa showed that, you know, it's still hard in the group behind, but he just applied his power sensibly. Um, and yeah, he did it. So um, anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.